section for you. I've labeled it 1.9. It's on the what we call the measures of central tendency, the mean, the median, the mode, and also the range. And I'm going to define each. I'm going to show an example or two of each. This is uh, information that you will need for data analysis when you're taking your proficiency test, as well as an extra credit assignment that's on this particular topic that should be on your uh, class's site. So let's start with the uh, one that we discussed back uh, a couple sections ago, and that is the mean of a data set. Now a data set would be perhaps a set of numbers, a set of ages, a set of grades, uh, information that will uh, be interested in analyzing. The mean or the average is where you take the sum of the numbers and you divide it by the number of values. You take the sum of the values, let's say, and divide it by the number of values. Here I have five values, 12, 15, 18, 11, and 17. If I was to add those up, 12 and 15 is 27, and 18 would be 45, 45 and 11 would be 56, 56 and 17 would be 73. This would add up to 73. I then take this sum, and I divide it by how many values there are. There are five. Now you can see that this is not going to come out evenly, so I'm going to go ahead and add a decimal point and a zero, and bring the decimal point up. If it goes in once, that's 5, 23. It goes in four times, that's 20. I'm running out of space. That's 3, bring down the zero, goes in 6. So the mean or the average is 14.6. It doesn't always have to come out to be an integer. That's the one you should be most familiar with. The median of a data set, you know what the median of a road is, that's that raised concrete section in the middle of the road, is the middle value where the values are written in numerical order. Now numerical order means if you take the numbers in the data set and you put them in least the greatest or greatest the least. So the problem that's above, I have 11, I have 12, I have 15, I have 17, I have 18. These are the five values, and I put them in numerical order from least to greatest, and the one in the middle is 15. So the median of the set of data from the last example would be 15. Now I've got a little asterisk here that says if a data set has an even number of values, the median is the average of the two middle values. This had an odd number, there were five. But in this example, as you can see, I have six numbers. I'm going to put them in order, least the greatest, that's two then 4, then 5, then 8, then 13, and then 26. And those are my six numbers, an even number of numbers. I look at the two numbers that are in the middle, 5 and 8. I take the median as the average of these two numbers. So I'm going to average them up. I'm going to find the mean. I'm going to add them together, 5 plus 8, which is 13. And I'm going to divide by 2 and I'm going to get 6.5 or 6.5. And, and that would be the median of this set of data. The third measure of central tendency, the first one was the mean, the second one was the median, the third one is the mode of a data set. The mode of the data set is the value that occurs most often. Now, there are some exceptions here. There's not always just a single value for the mode. A data, can, a data set can have no mode. It might have just one mode, or it have, might have more than one mode. I have three examples. If you look at the first example, 5, 7, 8, 3, 4, 5, 3, 6, 5, you can see that the 5 is repeated three times. Now granted there are two threes, but the most common, the most often, would be the 5, and that would be the mode. Now here's a good one where if you put them in order from least to greatest, you'll have the numbers bunched together, and you can see which one occurs most often a little more readily. In this example, 7, 4, negative 2, 1, 3, 0, none of the numbers are repeated. So there is no mode. This example here, you have 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have three 2's and you have three 4's. None of the other numbers are repeated. You have two modes here, so your mode would be both 2 and 4. Now again, these are called measures of central tendency. The fourth one that was listed in the title is not a measure of central tendency, it's a measure of dispersion, or sometimes referred to as variation. And it's the range. It's probably the easiest one to find, especially if you have your numbers in order. 
because the range of a data set is the difference, subtract the greatest value and the least value. So uh, these are not in order, but I can see that this is my greatest value, and my least value appears to be, looks like 39. So if I take the difference of these, I have the range. And the difference is 72, that's my range. This will, again, appear on the proficiency test. So the better you know this stuff, the, the easier that's going to make the data analysis aspect of the proficiency test for you. And you should be able to cut through that extra credit assignment. I'm hoping that everybody will try it because everybody for these topics can use that practice, practice, practice.